Hello and happy Tuesday, which is of course my book reviews day. And today I would like to talk to you about Hotel Magnifique by Emily J. Taylor. Uh, this book was given to me uh, by somebody who knew I loved the Night Circus. And they said, hey, if you like the Night Circus, you're going to like this. And, uh, well, I love the Night Circus and I didn't hate this, but uh, yeah, it, it was an all right read. Uh, this is the edition from Owl Crate, so it has a nice little fun note from the author. It's signed by the author. Uh, it, of course, has, you know, the portraits of the characters, which seems to be kind of a mandatory thing within the uh, realm of YA novels. Uh, but Hotel Magnifique is the story of Janny and her sister Zosa, uh, who are kind of down on their luck and uh, wanting a better life for themselves. And so they apply for a job at the... Uh, well, the titular Hotel Magnifique, this magical hotel that changes locations every night. It's spanning cities. It's spanning continents. It's, it's, it's traveling every single night. Uh, it's, this is a world where magic exists, uh, but magic is kind of uh, shunned and kind of dangerous outside of the hotel. But in the hotel, uh, which has an incredibly random waitlist system, uh, magic is on full force. And it will take your breath away. Uh, the people who are guests at the hotel never, they're spending exorbitant amounts, but they're not remembering their time due to magic after they leave the hotel. It kind of leads to the air of uh, mysticism around it. And uh, if you're thinking, man, that does sound like the Night Circus, it, yeah, it does. Um, I'm not going to lie. This felt like uh, Emily J. Taylor took the Night Circus and spirited away the Ghibli film and just kind of crammed them together. And then that is how you got Hotel Magnifique. Uh, Janny isn't a very compelling character. I mean, I think Taylor wants to really, you know, uh, well, I should, I should say Janny soon discovers that the hotel is not all that it seems upon gaining employment there. And soon she is trying to uh, save her and her sister from the hotel and from the uh, strange contracts that they've signed. I don't think Janny is a particularly endearing main character. Um, you know, I mean, it follows a lot of YA tropes of kind of, you know, fighting against the establishment and her kind of sneaking around the hotel and trying to figure out what's going on. And that, I mean, even in the realm of science fiction and fantasy, that just felt unbelievable. Like, all the other hotel workers are very much playing their part and they're doing what they're told. Uh, and the punishments for kind of breaking the rules are brutal. Like, I mean, this is a YA novel, but there are some brutal punishments uh, that occur to the characters. Uh, and I, it just amazes me that Janny doesn't get caught nearly as often as she should, uh, because she is just blatantly against the system and blatantly trying to figure out things for herself. Um, and so she's kind of traveling around uh, with the assistance of Belle, who is one of the uh, the magicians, or, I'm sorry, souvenirs in the hotel. Uh, Zosa, the sister, whose relationship with uh, Janny is supposed to be kind of central in the novel, is very much an absentee character. I mean, she's, once she kind of gets into her job, you kind of never hear from her. I mean, she's there, but it, she's, you know, in the background, which kind of makes it harder to justify Janny's means wanting to save her and the relationship she has with the sister when they don't really see that relationship. Um, one thing I will say uh, when I mentioned, like, Souvenir, is that this novel is oppressively French, <laughs> which is a weird way to describe a novel. I mean, obviously, it is in English, um, but they keep, they being Taylor, keeps throwing in French words when you really don't need French words in there. Uh, you know, artifact with an E instead of artifact, uh, societe instead of society, uh, beauté instead of beauty. Um, and then the magicians are called souvenirs, which I think is supposed to be like summoner, but like a French version. But I looked it up and souvenir is French for summary. So unless these magicians are walking around, they are summarizing the hell out of this, uh, this hotel. I don't know. Maybe it didn't sound, it sounded better than whatever the French equivalent is for magician or, uh, or summoner. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's not a bad novel. It it's, but like I said, if you've read The Night Circus, if you've seen Spirited Away, you're going to know where things are kind of going in this novel. Um, but yeah, I mean, I think this was Taylor's debut. This was her first novel, which, I mean, it's impressive for her debut. 
Unless I'm just completely making that up in my mind, but I could have sworn I read that somewhere uh, on the novel. Um, I will say there's a plot twist about two-thirds of the way in, which really should have happened sooner in the novel. It sort of detracts from it uh, being that late in the novel. I mean, it kind of... Uh, redirects how the final third goes up until the final battle, in a way, the final confrontation, the final act. Um, I don't know. It felt like something that happened way too late. Uh, I can't really say more about that because, I mean, even though it is a YA trope, it would spoil what happens. Uh, one thing I will complain about in the least spoilery way possible is that there is a character who knows this twist and who knows this very important detail, but he withholds this detail. They withhold this detail for the duration of the novel because they want, they hope for something to happen. And then when this detail is revealed and they say, cool, let's make the thing happen. Then suddenly that character says, nah, I don't want that to happen. And I'm like, well, that was literally your whole motivation. And then you, you get the thing and then you're like, nah, I changed my mind. So I don't know. Um, yeah, Hotel Magnifique, if you're a fan of Night Circus, you might be a fan of this, or you might just say, I'd rather just read the Night Circus again. Uh, like I say, it's the Night Circus mashed together with Spirited Away. Uh, like I said, this is the Owl Crate version, so it's a very nice production. Uh, I mean, like I said, it's got, you know, the illustrated reverse dust jacket, it has Greetings Traveler and Farewell Traveler, uh, as you enter and leave uh, the hotel. You know, it's a very nice production. Um, I don't know if Owl Crate still has this edition in stock, so you might have to go to the secondary market if you want to find this, but, I mean, you could presumably find this novel wherever books are sold. Um, so yeah, there's Hotel Magnifique. It's kind of a YA, uh, night circus, but oppressively French. <laughs> uh, if you like this book review, please consider subscribing to the channel. I do at least one book review a week on Tuesdays, and I have plenty of other unboxing videos, uh, between here and there to keep you entertained. Uh, so thank you very much uh, for watching, and we'll see you around next time.